Вот еще одними крайне интересными образованиями, которые связаны... Other extremely interesting formation associated with the middle late Miocene planation plains or surfaces are stone terraces on mountain slopes, as well as ancient drainage systems. We observe them in Sierra Mariolia, Sierra Pile and a number of other mountain regions of Spain. They almost do not differ from modern terraces, which are made on mountain slopes to strengthen them and to grow some sort of cultivated plants. They are the same in form and few, uh, but only from petrified limestones. When you walk on these terraces, it seems that they were previously in a loose state and specially made to strengthen the mountain slopes. Perhaps something was grown on them, then they were petrified. Some of them, for example in the area of Jumilia in Spain, include ancient stone roads which are preserved only in places. They are visible sometimes roads, sometimes ruts, most often smoothed by erosion. In the rock town of Castello de Mec in Spain, as I said, there was a whole road system. When it was in operation there apparently it was very wet. Wheel vehicles surge up deep into the ground. The wheels dip into the ground at 30 centimeters, sometimes half a meter. In Castello de Meca we saw a whole system of drainage proofs in limestones perpendicular to the round. On both sides of the road there are rectangular pits in limestones in which once water drained from these drainage proofs. The road builders continue to use the same technique used by ancient builders. I saw recently in Moscow suburbs a dirt road after. When we went to the Sochi reserve to study dolmens in the same year, we saw on the way to its similar drainage grooves crossing the road. We also saw similar rectangular pits on both sides of the road. It means that modern road builders continue to use the same technique used by ancient builders. I saw recently in Moscow suburbs a dirt road after a rain intersected by drainage grooves. On both sides of the road, rectangular pits were dug to collect water. As in Castello de Mecca, only there everything was petrified. Science boards, terraces and drainage systems were made in the Neogen period. In Padul and uh, Bocarent in Spain, we were able to study probably some of the most interesting formations. Hardly anyone assumed that we would be able to see something similar on the Neogen planation plain. There were stone roads. If these roads really have the Neogen age, then in Bukharin we saw remains of the ancient proofed road surface coverage. That is the ancient roadway in which crushed stone was powered. At least it looked just like a dirt road, covered with a crushed stone. Only all this turned to stone. А в Подуле это еще интересно. Это как твердое покрытие современное. Padul was even more interesting. The bed of the ancient stone road looked like a modern solid coating of bitumen and gravel. I photographed it a lot, but next to it my mobile camera and other objects. Then I compared to the photographs obtained with uh, photos of modern solid road coating, which was made using modern technology. In my opinion, there is no difference between them. Only the road in Padul was strongly deformed. The reds were preserved in small numbers. They too are crumpled and shifted. Obviously, this ancient road coating has undergone a very strong change. This stone road is a local landmark in the Padul district. It is enclosed with a fence at a distance of 200 meters. Besides these places, there are many other interesting formations. When you think about that uh, there was many roads, uh, earlier that there was a road bed like asphalt, the question arises, where were vehicles of population that lived during that period? It turned out that the rock complex, which is often next to stone roads and makes up one of them, includes rooms carved in the rock. I called them hangars or garages. The length of cars makes them. On both sides there are ledges shelves on which either tools or some accessories could lie. Often in the floor there is a bit of so as in modern garages. That is, these stone structures in many ways resemble modern garages, only carved into the rock. Thus, we see all the attributes of the ancient highly developed civilization, which lived at the ancient time. Еще, наверное, самые фантастические образования. О них написал две книги профессор Санкт-Петербургского университета Григорьев. 
Perhaps the most fantastic formations about which two books were written by a professor of St. Petersburg University Grigoriev are made main rock formations. We regularly see in expeditions as individual rocks, mountains, entire natural landscapes were transformed by ancient builders, ancient architects, and they were given a very different form. Usually all this attributed to the game of nature, referred to a combination of some incredible weathering factors with water and wind. In fact, such formations of relief cannot be explained by weathering and erosion. I saw a number of clearly man-made structures. For example, on the plateau of Yezelikai in central Anatolia in Turkey, which is called by analogy with the famous plateau of stone sculptures of South America by the Turkish Marka Galassi. There are stone sculptures of elephants and often see by two elephants nearby, sculptures of camels, dogs, birds. All these sculptures are quite large, from a few meters to several tens of meters. There are many stone thrones, sarcophagi carved in stone and sculptures of an incomprehensible destination. All these are clearly processed rocks. Apparently, those who lived here did this for aesthetic purposes in order to enjoy the man-made landscape. As Edgar Poe wrote in his famous works on landscape design, they ennobled natural landscapes. That is, the people who lived here adjusted the natural landscapes to their needs to feel good, cozy and be a part of nature. I was especially impressed by the two process mountains in Andalusia in southern Spain. The view of them opens from the entrance to the Dolmen Manga. One mountain is called a sleeping woman according to the form of a face looking up into which a mountain is transformed. Although I cannot say whether it's a woman or a man, the mountain is very similar to a long human head. This mountain is probably 10 km from the Dolmen. Behind it, probably 10 km more, is another mountain. When you look from the entrance to the Dolmen Manga, it seems to lean against the first head with the back of your neck. I call the second mountain Sleeping Man, because it is a complete likeness of the first mountain just turned the other way. It turns out that such sleeping stone giants exist in Iceland, Ireland and a number of other places. When I look at the materials in my group, it is before the flood, on Facebook I see the many researchers from different countries write about similar man-made rock formations. They are seen regularly in Spain, Italy, Germany and Southeast Asia. That is, the ancient civilization that lived at that time was able artificially to ennoble landscapes. In Spain, in Germany, in Europe, in South Asia, so this ancient civilization, which at that time was able to discover... I will give one more example. When we explored with Mikhail Zhernakliev the valley of love in Cappadocia in Turkey, we saw on two sides of the valley best reliefs of lions, some other animals, birds, people. When we came closer to the rocks, the best reliefs disappeared. Instead of them, we saw rocks with sharp corners and vaguer outlines. We thought, are we wrong? Fortunately, in one place we saw a real best relief, whether it's a warrior or a woman. I photographed it and it doesn't cause any doubt. This suggests that the valley of love was indeed cut by bus reliefs, only for millions of years there was almost nothing left from them. They have turned into nothing, and only from certain angles, from certain distances they can still be discerned. The widespread of rock, underground megalithic towns and in particular roads used by motor vehicles suggest that the civilization of the Neogen period was powerful enough. Architectural features of many structures that we saw confirm this fact. In Israel, Turkey, Spain, in almost all countries in which there are outcrops of underground touristical megalithic complex. It is absolutely smooth, ideally processed surfaces of walls. This applies both to inner walls of room and halls, and to outer walls of different structures. It is also perfectly flat vertical sides of rows, which sometimes has a height of 6-10 meters, even more than 10 meters. These are perfectly flat walls of some blocks that roll down from the slopes and are situated in an inverted position. The angles between the walls are exactly 90 degrees. On all such walls we see tracks of marks of some tools. We analyze the origin of these marks on the forum Earth before the flood for a long time. I showed them to specialist miners who work for many years at mining enterprises. 
By all accounts, pigs, chisels or hammers could not leave such traces. These are traces of machining, hands mining machines and combined made all these walls and structures. Moreover, many such marks are covered with scraps of secondary minerals. Oxides of iron, manganese, copper, calcite, quartz. Sometimes the wines of secondary minerals are developed along them. All this speaks for their very great antiquity. All this was done millions of years ago. This is not modern marks. In addition to rectangular walls, rooms and halls, we see a large number of bell-shaped caves. These perfectly even doom rooms they are carved into rock. Some of them have a height of 10 meters, some 20 meters, and they are bells up to 30 meters high, for example in Bass Cavern or Luzit in Israel. At the top of each bell there is a round hole with a diameter of 90 centimeters. Surprisingly, a diameter of the holes is the same everywhere. 90 cm. On the walls, pyramidal cells are often cut, which form several concentric circles. Of course, this is not the result of the work of primitive people with silicon or bronze hammers and chisels. What is it? Another question. We will dedicate to this a separate film. Now we can only know that all such formations indicate that civilization of the Neogen period possessed advanced technology through which unique structures were built.